Talk about the Indy 500. It's now 18 days away, and for the first time ever, no fans will be allowed at the race. That was the big announcement yesterday from IMS officials. This decision, though, is leaving a lot of transportation companies and local hotspots at a loss. They're wondering how they can make up for that lost revenue. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan is live at the track right now. So, Mike, what's their plan tonight? Well, hundreds of thousands of fans normally pack these seats, and it can be a gold mine usually for those Uber drivers or scooter companies looking to cash in on their exit. Now they're going to have to hope that new usage trends help pick up the slack in cash. <laughs> Indy 500 drivers will still get their rides in this year, while Lime users they got delayed a little bit due to COVID. Just reached a million rides in Indy. We've saved almost one and a half million pounds of CO2 from being released. If only that could be sold for profit. Last Indy 500 was one of the busiest days we've had. It was actually the busiest day Indianapolis had had. But with no one in the stands for the 2020 running. We recognize why there aren't fans around. That payday is gone, replaced by the new norm. We're seeing rides last twice as long. To grocery stores to avoid public transit. Seems like they're replacing shorter trips that maybe they would have used an Uber for. Speaking of those Uber drivers. I'm actually making more money than I typically do. Um, I think there are less drivers out, and so the demand's higher. Just not as much as Zachary Alexander made during the 100th Indy 500. I need $600 on the weekend. Um, it literally paid for a vacation of mine. Transporting fans from Germany, parts of Australia. The Indy 500's really picked up in Europe. Only now. I haven't had any rides in the past month to the airport. People who would frequent bars, <laughs> restaurants. We kind of missed busy season, and honestly, you, you just don't recover from that. Craig Mariuto owns a shoe fly public house. They are one of more than 85 restaurants offering price fix menus and discounts leading up to the 500. I think people are going to take advantage of it because it is a good deal. It's two weeks long so folks can get out, try some different places. 500 Fan Fuel Restaurant Week is the drive restaurants need now. We've decided this year we're going to actually extend it and do carry out with it too. Whatever keeps them in the race. And of course, if you are planning to take an Uber ride or a scooter ride in the coming weekends or during that Indy 500 weekend, please remember that those companies are recommending that you wear a mask and wash your hands or sanitize after each ride. Live at IMS, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. All right, Mike.